I'm Sharon Bill. Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's been great to have a rest during the summer holiday, certainly this summer after not seeing people for so long. It's been such a great opportunity to catch up with people and there's no doubt that it's good for us to have a rest. However, I always find during this last week or so of the summer break, that I find this rising sense of panic as I feel like, oh, I'm running out of time, I'm running out of time, I haven't been able to do this, and I haven't been able to do this or that, and I haven't seen these people. And I find myself getting stressed in trying to sort of cram in as much as I possibly can, like everything's got to be done during the summer break. And it's silly, really. And by the end of it, I'm quite grateful to be back into a bit of humdrum routine and to get back to work, just sort of a bit of calm plod again. And I find that I really look forward to this new academic year. I always say that this is my favourite time of year, perhaps even more so than the actual new year in January. This new academic year, I find, is a great opportunity to draw a line, fresh start, new ideas, new hopes. It's kind of get yourself a new pencil case and a new notepad and sort of prep out what you goals and your aims are. It's a good time to kind of reflect upon what's gone on. You know, you've had time to digest things over the summer holidays. So perhaps, you know, if you've been doing exams, you're raring to go for the next step. Or maybe, maybe things haven't gone to plan and your exams haven't gone so well. And you know, that's all part of life. It's okay. That's it's all part of the journey really and I think now is a really great time to kind of draw a line under it, chalk things down to experience, set aside some time, make a priority of just giving yourself a bit of peace and quiet to think now what do I want to achieve? I'm going to be going back to lessons and I'm going to be starting my new routine and I'm going to be getting into practice routines and set out your goals and your hopes and your desires as it were. List them out literally on a piece of paper, nothing quite so fab as a tactile piece of paper. Although I do like the app, is it the to-do app where you can write little lists and then when you cross them out it makes like a little scratchy sound. Although a pencil's my favourite. And think, okay, I want to do this. Say, for example, I want to take this exam or I want to learn this piece or I want to, um, you know, move into theory a little bit more or, you know, there's so much out there. There's this whole world of music that we've got to explore. So what's next on the list? That's a good start, but it's not quite enough because then you've got to think, well, what do I need to do to achieve it? What do I need to do to get there? And so... It's good to be clear about what you want to do, where you're heading, and it's also good to communicate that because it's no good just staying in your head. You need to communicate that to your teacher. You might even need to sort of communicate it to your family and just say, listen, I really want to do this. And so if we can organise to set aside this time clear and so we can all respect what's going to be happening there. And, you know, just make sure that your aims and hopes and ambitions are set down and clear and then you're in the right place to work through to actually achieve them. I really do love this time of year. Do spend some time, set your goals in concrete as it were and then you've got a clear plan. So this is your kind of prep stage where you've got your your paper and your pens and you, you're rummaging through your music books and you perhaps need to buy a new piano book or a flute book or whatever it is that you want to learn and so get that in set and ready and even get yourself a new notepad I think there's great worth in having a nice new notepad clear shiny front page and then you can log your process and your progress as you work through the weeks and months ahead because it's very easy to just say oh, I want to do this and you can say it in a breath, it's gone in a heartbeat, but what you've actually done is signed away months and months of your life as you will be working towards that goal. Grab your notepad, grab your pens, get your new music books, 
prep everything ready, get everything set up, get your bags packed and ready because this is where it all starts and I love this new start. Whatever's gone before, it doesn't matter if you've done super ace in your exams, great, well done you. If it didn't go quite to plan, well, that's life, you know. Read through the comments, see what it is that you need to work on, map out what you need to do. If you've not been kind of giving it your full attention, think, okay, how do I clear this time so I can practice, set your routines out. And I've done lots of vlogs to help you in how to work, not necessarily harder, but smarter. And I'll put the links in the cards and in the description so that you can be a little bit more streamlined in the way that you approach things. But this is the time when we prep everything out and we're just gearing yourself up and getting ready. And I'm really, really fond of this time of year where you just get everything prepped up and I'm all positive and buoyant and it's like right let's go and I hope that I can just convey a little bit of that to you so join with me and getting yourself prepped up and then this next week or two it's time to get going let's get ourselves ready set the foundations in place thanks for listening bye